Hi everyone, I'm Scott from Sharky's Floor and Greenhouses and today we're going to tackle a few problems with bugs. And two, two of the bugs that we're going to be targeting are fruit flies and fungus gnats. And you've probably come across both of them in, in your home. And the first thing I want to talk about are fruit flies. Now, when you have fruits and vegetables in your home, the fruit flies are just naturally there. They, they kind of come in with, with the produce and they're there. And once they get into your home and warm up, all of a sudden they're, they're out and about and you'll, you'll notice them. And the best way to, uh, to take care of them is to actually catch them. And one of the ways that's, that we have found is with sticky traps. Now, they're not naturally attracted to sticky traps, so we have to give them a reason to, to be attracted to them. So I wanna first start with talking about these sticky traps from Classy Casita. Uh, this is something that we sell in our, our own floral shop and they, they work very well. So this pack comes with 24 sticky traps in a couple different uh, shapes. And what you do is you just peel the, the sticker off so that you have the sticky side on, on both sides. And I'm just making my own homemade trap. So I took a water bottle, cut it off, and the next thing I wanna do is add some of the Bragg's uh, apple cider vinegar that is a smell that they will be attracted to. So just in this little uh, cup, I'm gonna put just a little bit in here. It doesn't take a lot. And if you get some on the sticky trap, that's fine. And it'll give off that little bit of smell and the, um, the fruit flies will steer over here because they're smelling that. And they'll, out of curiosity, they'll come in contact with the trap and then you can see there's, there's quite a few on here already that stick to it. And it's just a nice, easy way of keeping, I keep this right by our own fruits and vegetables, and, and you'll see, you'll catch a bunch of them. So it's a very easy way to, to catch them, and uh, so they're not on your fruits. Now, the other bug that I wanna address are fungus gnats. Again, it's a different type of bug, but you will see them if you are overwatering your, your indoor plants. And consistently overwatering, the fungus gnats are they're in the soil and they'll emerge and they like to feed on that kind of like that green slimy um, organic material that's on top of the soil. That's what they're that's what they're going after. They're feeding on that and then they're laying eggs in the soil. Now fungus gnats, um, when it comes to plants, they're annoying. They're not. They're not really detrimental. Um, they can feed on roots. Uh, on an unhealthy plant, yeah, they can, they can kind of do some damage and destroy. But on a healthy plant, they're just, really, they're just annoying. Um, but still, again, you wanna, you wanna catch them. And that, that's the best way is with a sticky trap. So again, the classy Casita sticky traps, we put these, even in our floral shop, you'll see these little sticky traps. We, we'll put it here and there and, um, one, it's, it's a way to monitor if you have any other bugs like aphids or thrips or um, white fly. It's a way of monitoring if you have a problem, but also it does catch the adult fungus gnats once they're flying. Um, they're they're kind of dumb and they go right to the sticky traps. So they're, they're, they're not the sharpest bug. They go right to it and, and you'll, you'll be able to see and monitor that, yeah, there's, there's a few. Now, so for one, um, watch your watering. You run into troubles usually when you're overwatering consistently and you get that little mossy uh, skimming on, on top of the soil. But we use these in our greenhouses. So at a, at a commercial scale, we have great big sticky traps and it's a great way to monitor what's going on in my greenhouses, uh, whether we have aphids or, or the fungus gnats or thrips or all these other detrimental bugs that, that I don't want in my greenhouse. So we do use these in our greenhouses. And so if you have some indoor plants, you might want to consider just getting a few of these as one to monitor, but also too, if you do have any of the fungus gnats, you almost have to catch them. Now, another thing, and you know that I'm a big proponent on a systemic insecticide, and it's, it's just a good thing to get into the habit of putting into your plants and flowers, and that gives that protection from the inside out. Um, so it will kill the larvae of the fungus gnats, but it does not kill the flying adults. Once they're adults and they're flying around, you almost have to get them with the sticky traps. But I like to use uh, Bonide, the systemic, 
insecticide, it's a granular, and you just sprinkle it on top of the soil of your plants. And then when you water, that insecticide goes into the plant and then it, it protects the soil and the plant itself um, from the larvae of the fungus gnats, but then also the really bad bugs, the aphids, the thrips, the white fly, also things that, that will go through and they'll munch on your, your plants and flowers. So we want to uh, just keep that at bay and, and give that protection of using a systemic insecticide to protect your, your indoor plants. So we will link up in the pro this video description these products, these different products, the, the classic Aceta, the sticky traps, the Bonide insecticide, and also the, the Briggs, the, the apple cider vinegar. And you can just click on it and you'll be able to see where to purchase those. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.